Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is here as always. Welcome back to Moscow because I'm back here after my short travel to historical Suzdal town. Outside temperature is minus one, feels like minus six with cute wet snow. After minus 20, it feels pleasant. Today I'm discovering new area for me. It is Mitro Raskazovka. Let's explore Moscow suburbs and let's see the life of Moscow people. Just normal situation. Snow is not really cleaned, but people still have to use the bus to go home. Buses are nice, by the way. And this is a bus stop. Pretty modern looking and nice. When I came to Moscow after a small Suzdaltan, which population is only 10,000 people, I was freaking shocked about how overcrowded it is. It is insane. I went to the shopping mall, I went to the food court, and there was no single table available. The population of the shopping mall was bigger than the population of the whole Suzdal town. I was shocked. After seeing that picture, I was questioning myself, why the heck people live in overcrowded Moscow where is everything so overpriced and expensive? I had a real existential crisis. Moscow is a vast town. Usually when developers build a new district, they build a big shopping mall in the middle. And of course, you should have a new metro station in here. What I can tell about people who live in Moscow suburbs like this, it's just simple people who work on simple job, probably who moved recently to Moscow and only can afford to live here and cannot afford to live in downtown, can be students, it can be people from other regions or other countries even. These new buildings, they are just okay, but in my opinion, they look a bit soulless, like they've been programmed in a computer and then built to feed as much people as possible. Typical Russian card storage. Just waiting until the spring. It is very normal to open barber shop in a new district because Russian men are very hairy. They like their beards, so they need to go to the barber shop to look nice. You also guys asked me in the comments why Russia built such tall building when it has such a huge territory. Why do people prefer live here other than live in their own cute house? with their own yard. Living in here in suburbs of Moscow, it's twice the price of living in small Russian towns. Minimum rent here is about five to six hundred dollars, whereas in Suzdal you can pay for rent about three to four hundred dollars a month. How to rent apartment in Russia. So I will use tan.ru. So here we have to choose rent and type of apartment it doesn't matter studio or one one bedroom so let's put the price i will put fifty thousand rubles which is around 550 dollars and this is address i type raskazovka metro so let's see what we get here first option is a big two-bedroom flat which cost uh, 48,000 rubles, but it is very far from metro. It's 14 minutes by car. So it's not a walkable distance, but the price is lower. Second option is 50,000 a month. Walking distance only 10 minutes, just a typical average flat in a new house. I would say just typical. The third option is my favorite. It's only 48,000 rubles. Very close to the metro, only four minutes. It is one bedroom with very cute design, 
cute bus and very beautiful kitchen yeah fully furnished i would choose this flat next option is a bit weird i think uh, owners try to create a castle in their flat so um i don't know who would like to rent it another one is very far from the metro and a studio so yeah this is average look of russian apartments i don't like sofas in here oh another same flat so sometimes you can see um flats from agencies or posts from owners and again a bit weird furniture in here so you have to really spend time to choose something nice let's learn about russian garbage unit it's covered by a rooftop like a cute house it's better than nothing right so we have two types of boxes here blue and gray this is recycled materials this is not recycled materials and people usually do not follow the system they put all together and they do not sort it which is very terrible we should really make recycling of the trash but yeah it is sad because when i used to travel in asia I really used to at least separate the plastic and paper and food trash to a separate separate bag and here in Russia we do not do that and you guess what's this um, bright orange box is anti-ice material so they put there some kind of salt or chemicals and they use it to make the road melt faster what you can get by paying five or six hundred dollars a month for one bedroom apartment in this place you will get a modern house it's going to be warm it's going to be just all right but i cannot promise you that your life will be completely comfortable here because usually modern houses are pretty bad with a sound protection. You often can hear your neighbors. You all know Russian old houses like Khrushchevka. They are ugly from outside, but people sometimes prefer them better than these beautiful looking new houses because they are ugly from outside, but they are very nice inside. They have uh, thick walls and better sound protection for sure. I cannot say anything bad about this cute looking high school, I suppose. Let's go closer and read. What is this? Yes, I was right. It is school. So it is very cool looking, I think. Do you remember guys, when I was in Vladivostok, I made a vlog from my school, my Soviet style, typical gray school. It was heck of depressing and gray for real. This is so much better. So modern kids should be happy. Colorful building in the middle. I suppose it should be kindergarten, right? Very positive colors and playground i want to remind you guys that not all russia looks like this it is just new moscow district in moscow so moscow usually gets everything modern piles of snow as usual here you can learn english language if you are on a wheelchair or a mummy with a child in a stroller you need to go here taking this snowy slope make take a turn and then very narrow <laughs> uh, path between piles of snow after Suzdal i realized that moscow it is not really friendly city you kind of feel lonely here because you will never get to know all of these people 
who is around you. You will never even speak to them. <laughs> so why would you live in such crowded city? The main reason why many Russian people want to move to Moscow is obviously economical reason. Yes, you need to pay a double price just to live in Moscow and rent apartment in here. But at the same time, you can find a double paying job in here. People who live in downtown of Moscow and who own property in downtown of Moscow, usually they are Moskvichi, people who was born in Moscow, who got their properties from their babushkas and dedushkas. Or probably they are Russian oligarchs, you know, because it's very difficult to earn that money to buy uh, a flat in the downtown of Moscow. So normal people just can't afford to buy flat in these buildings over here. It is the same brand of bakery that I have in my house where I live right now. Very much profitable idea. Basic fresh bakery, breads and cakes. Also affordable coffee and drinks. Mm. Can you feel this? It is very nice. I can compare scale of Moscow with um, Shanghai and Seoul two huge towns I visited when I was traveling in Asia. Average lifestyle would be something like this. So imagine you're 20, 25, 30 years old. You're a young specialist. You probably work in the downtown of Moscow and you earn something around 100,000 K rubles. You have to pay a half of this money to rent an apartment in here or maybe less if you are renting your flat with your girlfriend or with your friend. So you have to go to your work and spend more than one hour underground to go to work every day because um, probably your job located in the downtown. So you have to go there and spend there nine hours. So you will be back here around 7 p.m. So you have just two hours in the evening to cook your food, to go to the shopping mall, to have rest, to watch a show. And then tomorrow it will start all over again. I wanted to show you local metro station because I think it is very cool. Color of this station is very intense. It is so bright red color. It will make you wake up very fast in the morning. So these are entrance doors. Huge informational screen. And here is post pickup storage unit. So you can get your parcel in here. All walls covered with Russian words, but it is not simple Russian words. Those are surnames of famous writers. It is a library, guys. So these are folders or books. And here you can read names of famous books.
already a long time I want to film a video about Russian metro in Moscow so if you want to see that please let me down below in the comments and I decided to film this station because I think it is very special and I haven't seen something like this in Moscow and I'm first time here and it really surprised me today I hope you guys had fun with me today you get to know more about real life in Russia and if you want to learn more please watch my other vlogs because I have a lot of them and they are very interesting if you like what I'm doing please join sponsorship program or send me a little donation because my whole income guys it is YouTube monetization from advertising and your support. If you're sending only $2 in the end of the month, it is really helpful for me, guys. So yeah, thank you so much for staying with me until the end. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye-bye.